Hey friends, today's video is my October TBR. I know a lot of YouTubers do their TBR videos and I want to do TBR videos as well, but I want you to keep in mind that these are very tentative because new books are always coming out. Sometimes friends give me books and it's just so hard to say this is exactly what I'm going to be reading. I'll keep it as close to that pile as possible, but a lot of times it probably will change. I'm just being honest. So I'm going to start off book number one with the book that I'm actually reading right now, and that is Stalking Jack the Ripper. And so far I'm really liking it. So on the very first page it has this illustration. It has this girl dissecting the cadaver which is what the first chapter is kind of talking about. So I mean I think that's pretty cool that it kind of gives you illustrations throughout. I'm only three chapters in so far but I'm liking it a lot and this should be a pretty quick read. So yeah I'm reading Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I think that's her name. Okay, so book number two is a book that Reagan over at Peruse Use, I want to say, is her channel. I'll leave a link down below. But um, she recently read Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes. And I really like the way that she presented the book, so I thought I would give this one a shot as well. So this one's kind of a detective story, but the um, detective has a new crime that is very peculiar. It says something about it being half boy and half deer fused together or something, I don't know, something weird like that. So. When I get finished with this one, I will definitely do a book review and know, let you know more of what the book is about. But like I said, Reagan made it sound really good and it made it sound like this would be a really good October read. So, so yeah, I'm going to give this one a try. Book number three is another book that Reagan um, was talking about and I thought I would give it a try. A Madness So Discreet. It's about a girl whose family um, puts her in asylum because she thinks she's crazy but once she gets there she finds that everybody there is just like her and sets her on a different path and maybe she's not as crazy as everybody is making her out to be. So I thought this was very interesting so and yeah so I've seen the seller by Natasha Preston in the bookstores and just the cover of it kind of right off the bat intrigued me so um, I read the back and it's about a girl who gets taken and is held captive in a man's cellar and he I guess thinks her name is Lily so he traps her down there and when she gets there she finds that there's three other girls and they're all named after different flowers. There's Rose, Poppy, Violet, and then he calls her Lily. So he calls her Lily and I guess this is a story of them being in the cellar and hopefully at the end how they get away, but I don't know. So I don't know. The book just kind of, it sounded good and she's got another one called Awake. So... I don't know if you've read this one or any of them for that matter I just dropped it so also this book started out on Wattpad which is um, a place where new authors can sometimes go and publish their books and depending on how big it gets um, it will get picked up by a publisher and printed out so I think that's really cool support new young authors and I'm thrilled to have this book to read it and see what it's all about. No better time than October to get into all these chilly dark books which I love so much. Maybe I'm maybe I'm alone in that I don't know but I love dark stories. I like 
I like all kinds of sorority. It's not like that's the only thing I ever read. I do generally kind of lean more towards darker stories. Um, I don't know why that is. I'm a Halloween baby. Halloween's my favorite time of the year. It's when grown-ups can stop adulting and you can kind of be a kid and it's fun and it always brings me back to my childhood. The creepiness and stuff. So, so yeah, those are the books that are on my TBR. Like I said, I'll try to stay as close as I can, but I can't, there's no guarantees. So don't forget about the giveaway that is coming up October 5th. Good luck to everybody out there. Until next time, bye guys.